The year was 1832, and a New York native named Pierce Downer purchased 160 acres of prairie and timberland and founded what is now known as Downer's Grove. Its somewhat unusual spelling remains a minor historical mystery, apostrophe free since 1873. Though times were simpler back then, education was still something that was a necessity. The first schoolhouse was built in 1844. While the town has most definitely changed over the years, decades, and over the last century, one thing still remains a constantly growing and ever-changing need, education. District 58 is comprised of 13 schools, including Bel Air, El Sierra, Fairmont, Highland, Hillcrest, Henry Puffer, Indian Trail, Kingsley, Leicester, Pierce Downer, and Whittier Elementary Schools, as well as Herrick and O'Neill Middle Schools. District 58 supports more than 5,000 students annually. Within that number, the need for new technology, teaching aids, and tools are ever-changing. This is where the Education Foundation of Downers Grove, District 58, comes in. In July of 2002, 18 members of the Downers Grove community got together and they formed the Education Foundation of Downers Grove, District 58. Over 15 years and more than $1.3 million later, it plans to be a longtime source of support for the District 58 schools. The board was designed to represent the various areas of the community, including local businesses, village officials, community members, District 58 PTAs, parents, administration, board of education, teachers, and retirees. While the success of the foundation has allowed them to triple their programs and funding, its success can be attributed to many of its donors, supporters, and board of directors. The foundation is still growing and welcomes new sponsors and support in general. This is where businesses, community members, and the like can become a part of this amazing organization. These dedicated individuals meet monthly to plan fundraisers and a host of other activities for the foundation and direct support of District 58. Since its inception, the Education Foundation for the Downers Grove Grade School District 58 has slowly become a true staple for the schools it supports. The foundation itself could not exist and would not have been formed without the determination, the drive, and the commitment of people like you the viewer or viewers of this video. Education is the one thing that can and always will greatly improve a person's life and can allow a child to become what he or she chooses to be. Won't you please consider joining our mission? The foundation cannot exist without the support of businesses, individuals, and corporations. No donation is too small and certainly no donation is too large. The foundation is always interested in partnering with new sponsors. If you're interested in becoming a sponsor or volunteer, please contact us at the following information. We look forward to hearing from you and look forward to seeing you at one of our future events throughout the year. On behalf of the Education Foundation of Downers Grove, District 58 and myself, we thank you. The Education Foundation season kicks off in mid-August with their sponsorship of the Sneak Preview event. This is a three-day event that takes place two weeks before the school year starts. This orientation for incoming seventh grade students allows them to acclimate to their new surroundings at the middle school through general fun, games, and activities. Transportation is provided to and from the program. Nearly 95% of the incoming students participate in the three-day program. Next is the Reaching New Heights gift. This is a district-wide teacher staff meeting held at the end of August at the Tivoli Theater just before the new school year starts. At this event, the Education Foundation explains who they are and what they do for the district, schools, students, and staff. The superintendent is presented a gift in the amount totaling $6,500. That gift is divided up amongst the 13 District 58 schools. Each school receives $500, and each school or principal is allowed to use the gift as they see fit, albeit school supplies, etc. At the end of August, the Welcome Luncheon takes place. This event welcomes all new staff and teachers. 
While the foundation sponsors the event, the representatives from the other community organizations, such as individual representatives from the police department, the fire department, the library, and the park district are invited as well to orient new employees in regards to local services and its personnel. In September of 2002, the foundation started the teacher grants, grants for curriculum, technology innovation, and staff development. These are grants to further enhance instruction. The grants range in total from $20,000 to $30,000 annually. Individual grants can range from $250 up to $3,000. These grants can be used to purchase educational materials and or peripherals, such as musical instruments to reading materials, smart boards to 3D printers, sports equipment to books. $750,000 has gone specifically to grants alone. This process begins when the teachers submit grant applications at the start of the school year. These applications define what the funds will be used for. The board then decides which submissions are awarded the grants. The committee members are rotated on an annual basis and are members of the community itself. Each submission is done in a blind format. This alleviates any chance of favoritism as to who is awarded which grant. In mid-September, the annual fall fundraiser takes place. From 2002 up to 2011, the Kelly Miller Circus was a part of the Education Foundation fundraising lineup. The fall fundraiser event has since been replaced with the Downers Grove Oktoberfest. Now going into its third year, Oktoberfest has become an annual event and is now expanding from one day to encompassing two days. These events are truly designed to be community-based, featuring local sponsors for the event as a whole and on a vendor level. This event offers authentic German fare from local establishments, beverages for both adults and kids alike, children and family-based activities such as the Kids Zone, brat eating and donut eating contests, live music including polka, classic rock, local children's talents, and more. Oktoberfest allows family and friends to truly experience a community event. The best part, all ages are welcome. In February of 2013, the Education Foundation started the Harlem Wizards biannual basketball event. This event takes place at Downers Grove South High School. In the two years that the event has been held, attendance expanded into the balcony bleachers and sold the event out. The event itself gives the community a chance to witness key staff members and public figures, such as police and firemen, along with the mayor and state representatives in a fun-filled, competitive, and interactive family environment. One in which the community team has an opportunity to compete against the world-famous Harlem Wizards. All proceeds from this event allow the foundation to better support its ever-growing need for funding. In March of 2002, the foundation introduced the Spring Concert Event, sponsored and hosted by the historic Tivoli Theater of Downers Grove. Over the years, the concert series has sold out and featured such live entertainment as Frank Caliendo, Second City, Poi Dog Pondering, The Bacon Brothers, The Freddie Jones Band, and more. Even though the event is designated as a 21 and over function, make no mistake, there is a definite sense of community at the concerts. The funds raised from the ticket sales assist the foundation in its programs all year round. In March of 2013, the Reading Games were introduced, hosted at O'Neill Middle School. Think of the Hunger Games, but in this case, students ranging from third grade to eighth grade create teams, read books, and compete in a Q&A environment based on the literature they have read. Each student receives a participatory prize. First, second, and third place ribbons are awarded in each group. There is also a grand prize awarded for each reading level. Originally, the foundation donated $500 to support the inaugural event. Soon after, it grew in popularity to over 600 kids, and the foundation was asked to be the main sponsor. This one-day event not only teaches students teamwork, it also allows students to compete in a battle of wits and knowledge for prizes provided by local businesses. 
In April of 2002, the Foundation introduced Select 58, a cornerstone of the Education Foundation. 29 8th grade students from Herrick Middle School and 29 8th grade students from the O'Neill Middle School are selected from over 100 student-submitted essays based on those who have proven to be positive role models through good citizenship, co-curricular, and service involvement activities within their community. The winners are selected by a blind committee as to avoid any favoritism towards the students. An awards dinner for the winners and immediate family is held at the Herrick Middle School. The winners are presented a plaque and sweatshirt. Group photos are taken. And lastly, students are recognized during their school's eighth grade promotion ceremony. In May of 2002, the foundation introduced the DSA Distinguished Service Awards. The awards were created with the objective of recognizing two distinctive members of the school staff. One award for a classroom teacher and one award for a non-teaching staff member working in any capacity. Staff members can be nominated for this award by a colleague, administrator, student, and or parent. An essay is submitted and the winners are selected by a blind committee as to avoid any favoritism in the process. All nominees are recognized and the winner is announced at an awards ceremony held at Ashiana Banquets in Downers Grove. In the spring of 2014, the Green Apple Award sprouted and another avenue of support for the foundation and the District 58 schools was introduced. This individually based award gives the staff, students, parents, and the community an opportunity to donate any dollar amount in the name of a designated teacher or staff member. Donations can be made throughout the school year. When a donation is made, the denomination is not revealed. Monthly, the district superintendent or the principal of each school presents a special green apple card to the designated teacher or staff member in which a donation has been made. The green apple card only reveals who made the donation. All donations help to fund the teacher grants, grants for curriculum, technology innovation, and staff development program. 